last week, Victoria and I set out to buy an Audi R8. And as we were on the road, as we were on the road, it just didn't seem like, I was thinking about it, I was like, you know, as cool as it would be to be 24, have a house, married, like have a supercar and all the other cars in my garage, like that would be sick. But you know, I realized it's like, that doesn't seem like something that I would do. That doesn't seem like me. It doesn't seem like something I would really genuinely have fun with. So I've been brainstorming ever since. Like I've been trying really hard to think like, what's something new I could do? What's something refreshing that I could push myself and like maybe even go out of my comfort zone and do. And boys, let me tell you what, like if there's anything I can tell you about this, this is something that I said like back in the day, if you asked me in high school, I would have said I would never do this. If I did own a which I don't want to at all. I'm going to buy a car today that I really never thought I would, but I am so genuinely excited about this project. <laughs> So we just basically finished up the LS3 350Z. That's not over yet. The Sky, the R33 obviously is not finished yet. I have some more stuff to do with it, but if there's anything you guys should know about me by now is that I'm fairly good at multitasking and working on multiple projects at a time is what keeps me going in life. <laughs> you ready to go make it happen? Okay. By the way, the car does run. I just don't want to drive it all the way back. You'll, you'll see why. As you get older, I think you start having this appreciation in a different way. You see, I think maybe you see things in different ways than you did before. There was literally a video that I showed you before that I said that I would never buy X car. And I seriously thought like, back then, there was no way in hell I would ever own this car. But you know, after doing so many things, like diversifying my car knowledge so much, not being a specific enthusiast to one certain brand or one certain type of car, it opens a lot of opportunities to you if, when you have an open mind and stuff like that. I wish I could go back and tell myself, like, Evan, you're gonna learn something. You're just gonna have fun with whatever is fun and so just enjoy it for face value. Okay, we made it. You guys ready to be surprised? <laughs> Good old Killeen, Texas. Um, funny enough, I have a lot of family from Fort Hood and uh, Copper's Cove, so I'm very used to this place, but man, it's, it's hot and dry and not Dallas here. Lee? Lee, yeah. That's... It's strange, I gotta tell you, you know how to drive stick? He yes. does a lot. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I, I... Um, you know, the ignition is new, so there, there's some parts into it. Okay. Very cool. I like that it doesn't have a cracked dash or anything. That's no, no. This plus, this one's smells like an old Japanese car. I feel like it's in pretty good condition. It's not bad. Like it's got. I need new front glass, which that's fine. That's a cheap fix. No, oh man. Go, go. I'll explain to you guys in a little bit, but let's, let's take this guy for a, for a drive. some sort of woohoo woo exhaust on it. I've had this itch, right? I've been I've been looking for this like new project idea. And, like an R8 would be so sick. Like I would love to have a supercar. But what fun is that, you know? I have always had this like idea where I've wanted to get a Civic, put the right motor in it, make it so fast that it pisses off every V8 on the road. And as you guys know, we live in Dallas, so we already know we gotta do it to them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna buy this EJ1. We're gonna make it, okay, there's drift cars right there. Ooh. We're gonna send it. We're gonna make this. VTEC, baby. <laughs> it doesn't grind gears or anything. Like, let's check the AC. It's very hot. Let's give it a sec. Oh, oh. oh, it's cooling. Here it's coming. Okay. Project Civic. Let me, let me show you a little bit of this VTEC going on right now, boy. <laughs> so it's stinky. 
I wish you guys could smell the smell with me, but can we just explain to you guys a little bit about what we're gonna do with this? This is gonna be crazy, and this is something that I would never have planned on buying or doing or even thought about building. We're gonna we're gonna send it. Oh, oh no, you can't get out. Suck that butt in. Through the window. I live a happy life, okay? So I've gotten fat. Oh, that's very hot. Don't burn your hands. All right. Look at this beaut. How are you feeling? Are you excited? I'm feeling like there's a lot of potential here. Hubcaps, custom paint chips. Custom livery. Yeah, this thing's <laughs> got a whole livery on it right now. They've even broken in the bumper for me so I don't have to destroy it going over a bump. Had so many people staring at our freaking sweet new Civic on the way back. <laughs> Just so you guys know, this guy, I'm buying a turbo kit for this thing tomorrow. Let me get it off the trailer real quick and I'll explain to you a little bit about more of like why we did this and our motives behind it. <laughs> Look at that sick steering wheel. Take it out of gear. Now under the e-brake and now you're just gonna literally just like kind of coast down with the Keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, something come out of here. Sorry neighbors, you probably burn a little bit of oil, yeah? I gotta say, it's really cool to have a freaking imported car in your garage. Like, I'm never gonna get rid of that. It's really cool to have $40,000, $30,000, $20,000, dollars whatever nice builds and this and that. But you know, I was thinking, I was like, I feel like I've never done anything like super relatable. Anybody could have gone and bought this car that I bought today. So here's some plans. I'm gonna give you a brief synopsis. Tomorrow I'm gonna be buying a turbo kit for them. I'm gonna basically be blowing up this D-Series motor and just getting every ounce of send out of this motor as I can. Then, not quite sure exactly what I wanna do yet. Probably we'll do a K24, might do a B18 because they're so cheap, but I would like for this car to be a serious, serious sleeper someday. And I would like to do somewhat of a restoration on it. It obviously has just terrible paint and it's got some dented stuff. I need a whole new hood. I'm gonna need a bumper. I'll likely like, I'm pretty sure there's a JDM front bumper for this car that looks really good. There's a really nice lip you can get for it. I'll do some like restoration stuff. Probably get to the J, I really like the JDM headlights for this car. I'm definitely even as much as I love it, I am for sure gonna have to take this little steering wheel cover off. I want a pink fluffy I think it's like, no. I'll do like seats and stuff like that. Like I'm not gonna go too budget on it. I want this car to be really, really nice. I already have, um, wheels and tires on the way, working on suspension and uh, seats. Going full send this tomorrow, buying it, actually maybe even tonight, buying a turbo kit for it. So this will be a really fun, interesting car. I want you guys to be a part of this and I want this to be something that, that's been completely different than I've ever done before. And depending on how you guys react and how you guys enjoy this content on the channel, having it a sleeper, like um, I might end up doing a full send like eight, seven, 800 horsepower built K24 in this thing and actually make it look nice. And that depends on how much you guys enjoy the content and come back and keep watching. You can learn, stick on it finally. If I, if yeah. you go to the grocery store, you're not taking the Tahoe. You're taking this. Hey, I said I would take it tonight. I can teach you how to freaking rip a fat burnout in this thing. That, it would be a fun, I think it'd be a fun, fun thing. Man, what you think, dude? What do you mean, what did I do? <laughs> she just needs some love, some JDM parts, and a little bit of power. I gotta show you under the hood, man. This thing is tight. Let's make you miss your DC5. A little bit, a little bit. Yo. There we go. So brand new ignition, like weapon R intake. A little bit of header action from eBay going on. And then I don't know why. Okay, so this literally, okay, they painted over. This used to be the nice green hood, so I gotta go buy an Another green hood. It needs a little bit of love, but I think uh, the most important factor is that we're gonna be faster than all the V8s in Dallas. I'm down. A little baby radiator. <laughs> Dude, this, everything about this car is so funny. You wanna, uh, you can keep this if you want though. This, you don't want this, dude? This is a pretty tight little steering wheel cover. You sure, bro? That'll look great on, this, on the SUV. <laughs> What's best is, you got me a really cool license plate frame back in the day, so I think I'm gonna gift you one with, uh, I'm gonna gift you with something well, really cool. Deal with it. <laughs> Dude, this is a Honda. It just kills everybody, that's why. Start her up, man. She's powerful. <laughs> it might be dumb, but you know, my policy 
It's all about having fun. As long as you're having fun in life, that's what really matters. And I'm about to have a lot of fun with this car. Don't ruin it yet. <laughs> oh jeez, you're gonna freaking die. This isn't like a Japanese legend, but you know, it was it was in Fast and Furious and there's been it's been highly modifiable. Will you stop shaking the whole car? I wanna see how quickly we can make this car faster than the Evo. Also pushing myself to a different boundary, I'm going to be now participating in legit drag racing. I've done grip racing, which has been fun. Like I really enjoy that. I've gotten into drifting. I would actually love to get into drag racing and whoop street speeds, but once and for all, in a little two-door civvy. So if you're watching this, Mike, I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> My daily advice for you, if you guys don't know, uh, at the end of every video, I give daily advice. Ooh, can I have Okay, come here. I usually give daily advice, but Victoria's gonna give daily advice. Mm -hmm. I would say, as somebody who's very fond of the comfort zone, that the most growth happens. Wait, you're smiling. The most growth happens out of your comfort zone, and so kind of like what you're saying, this is not our norm, but mm -hmm. I'm super excited about it, and um, I have high hopes for this. Mm -hmm. And so I challenge you to do something you're not necessarily comfortable with, just because it's out of your comfort zone. Yep. How's how's that? That was good. See you guys later. Get ready for this beast, dude. Peace. All right, I know you guys know this, but I got two videos right in front of your face. Victoria's, well, don't break, no, stop, stop. You're gonna break everything, get off the car, no. Watch those two videos I have right in front of you, please. Oh my goodness. I gotta go take care of Victoria.